Healing the body is step one. Because I can tell you, when I'm not feeling well, I could really care less about my future life or being of service or what my soul's desire is. When I am in pain and I am suffering, I could care less. All I want to do is get up and get through the day. My life be has become very small and that's all I can think about. So when people show up here, they have had a lot of years of self-abuse. They have been taking substances and maybe just negative thinking. They have been feeling bad about themselves. They carry loads of burden on their shoulders. Their body is toxic because I can tell you our thinking creates toxicity within our body, negative thinking. The environment that we live in, the things we put into our body creates aches and pains and depression and anxiety. And when we're in that spot, who cares really about anything? So when people show up here, we are serious about this. We get people on a nutrition plan that is nurturing and comforting and healthy, that is actually feeding the cells. A lot of people overeat in America, and yet we are also a nation starving of nutrients. So we care about this. Our brains are depleted by, again, the environmental toxins, the internal toxins. We have stopped making some of the chemicals that our body needs to feel good. And so we are stripped and that hurts. So we get people on a supplement protocol right away. We have fresh green juices. We have superfood elixirs to get the body back on board. And the body is so toxic, we hurt. We carry toxins in our cells. We carry trauma in our body. So to be able to go and get body work by people that actually know what they're doing and they're able to get in there and help release this. So people start physically feeling better, which happens relatively quickly. Our bodies want to get back into balance. And by moving the body and the yoga and the stretching and being out in fresh air, I'm telling you, amazing things happen with that component alone. And when that starts coming on board, all of a sudden we start waking up and remembering, oh yeah, I do have desires. I do have hopes. There are things I want to get up for every day. And that's when we can start really digging into these other pieces, but the body Step one, and that is usually the one area that is completely ignored in the majority of recovery treatment centers out there, at least at this point.